Hi there, Attorney Jobeth Bowers with Bowers Law LLC. I wanted to take a moment to ask, answer a question that was asked of us via our website, BowersLawMD.com. The reason I want to a answer this question here and online is because we get the question a lot. Today's question is, what kind of sentence can I expect in a violation of probation hearing? And it's an interesting question, and while I said I was going to answer it, I really can't through a medium like this because every situation is very different and the factors that can take in, be taken into the sentencing at a VOP hearing are various. Number one, who's the judge and who's the prosecutor? These are the first two fundamental things that are going to be important to knowing what kind of sentence that you can expect. Different judges do different things as well as prosecutors and what they ask for at a VOP. How much time are you backing up? Why are you violating? If you're violating at all, it's important to speak with an attorney and to go through the allegations against you in your violation and see if you did in fact violate your probation. There's no reason to throw yourself at the mercy of the court if there may be some nuance of the law that you don't necessarily understand and that your attorney may realize that no you didn't actually violate and you may be subject to no sentence whatsoever. Um, but the court has a great deal of discretion in these violation of probation proceedings and I think that having an attorney to represent you in that regard is clearly going to be important because they can negotiate, they can work with the judge, and they're going to have some foresight ahead of time, depending on which judge you're serving your probation to, as to what they're likely to do. If you have any other questions, feel free to call us at 410-885-6200. Uh, you're going to speak to an attorney almost right away, if not right away. Um, and we're happy to help you out with these situations. Thank you.